Hello everyone, and welcome back to my playthrough of No Man's Sky and my quest for the Normandy. And before I get started, I would like to apologize to anyone who watched the last three parts. The audio was... I mean, it wasn't my fault technically, but I should have checked, right? I should have checked my mic volume or something. But it's obvious I don't do any, you know, pre-recording checks to make sure things are okay because I don't change my settings. Nothing should change, ever. So I just assume that the mic volume is where I leave it. And for some reason it wasn't. It was 25% lower. So you pretty much couldn't hear me throughout the last three videos. As well as the two shorts that I uploaded. Well, fortunately, OBS has a way for me to be lazy and not do pre-recording checks and still end up being able to salvage a situation like that. So if it ever happens again, I've got OBS configured now to save my mic audio and the game audio separately in tracks two and three, just in case I have to export them and do some tweaking and merge them back together. And then if everything turns out okay, track one is, is already the audio for my mic and the game merged into one, so I can just use it as is if everything's fine, which I did pre-checks this time to make sure it was, so we should be good to go. You guys should be able to hear me with no problem, and if you can't, I can fix it now. Ah, let's get this fixed, since these cockpits are always screwed up when I get in them. This is actually kind of unpleasant to do. So I wish I wish the controls weren't so low that I can't reach them. Alright, hold on, let me check and see what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm on phase three. No, I am on phase four. Because I can't find a toxic world. Which is really sad. So I need to go here. Alright. Before I do that, let's check and see if they have any upgrades for the pulse drive. Because they didn't the last time, and sometimes after you log out and log back in, the upgrades will change. Especially after it's been a day. So let's see what he has. Oh, interloper. Trying to point with my left hand, but you guys can't see it. Phase beam. No, that's the same stuff. Alright. I have to actually travel between uh, star bases. You know, I could actually use the warp thing up there to travel between star bases I've been to and try to find a toxic planet. If I'm never able to find one... That was weird. If I'm never able to find one, then uh, that's a viable option at least. Overcompensated a bit. I would really like to get pulse engine upgrades though, because we're burning through fuel much faster than the old ship. No, 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 no. That's not cool. Is that 17 minutes? Why is it getting longer? Oh boy. Cut throttle. I think this is where we need to be. I think we've made it. That, that thing sticks up so high, you can actually see it, you know? Is this the right place? Other people are landing here, so it might be. It hasn't said it's the right place. Uh-huh. 
Alexia's portal is functional. The last two weren't. Um, Sentinels inbound. Okay. No idea how to use these. Did I get my uh, milestone? No, I didn't. There we go. Okay. The fourth rendezvous. Rendezvous is a pointless portal. What is the point of those things? Is there anything else I need to do on this planet? It's getting pretty obvious that I need to upgrade my inventory. Alright, I can't really read that. Okay, learn Gek words, 2 of 10. Visit the Atlas. The Atlas? Huh. Learn Corvax words. Discover systems. Oh boy. Learn Viking words. Oh, the Atlas. Um, the Atlas stay. Well, I don't remember how to do that, but I can ask someone. And I think I know who to ask. Right. Wait, hold on. It needs me to learn Gek words. So I need to go looking for those stupid um this button that's right i don't think that scans them i think i have to hit this okay that's one right there it's 154 u that's not too bad Although, ideally, I would want my, uh, X... What do you call that? Rover or whatever? Exo Rover or whatever? I want my car. That's... I need my car. I'll put it in those terms. Because those are the best terms. Donuts? I found donuts. They even have a little bit of cream on them. Hmm. Pterodactyls? No? No, they look more like butterflies from hell or something. Okay, where's the next nearest one? No, seriously, where is it? Because I saw another one. It's a copper deposit. Um, oh, there it is. Okay. That's ferrite. That's not what I'm looking for. So I forget what the icon looks like already. Wait, I saw knowledge stone. Is that it? That's pyrite. I know there's one in that direction, I just can't see the icon. Oh, there it is. Okay. I don't know how I forgot the icon that quickly, but that's okay. Yeah, I really do need to just build one of those stupid rover bays. I can't get up this. Okay, uh, build menu, so craft, roamer, geo bay. Okay, it's called a roamer. Hello there. I don't have any paraffinium.
Well, Cantacris, how do you get paraffinium? I don't remember. Um, be in the catalog. Where is paraffinium? Paraffinium. I don't think these are alphabetical. I don't see it. No, they are not alphabetical. I don't see paraffinium. Well, it might help if I could actually see the entire thing instead of it being clipped through the ground. That would be nice. Okay, this is magnetized ferrite. Oh, here it is, paraffinium. Typically found on planets with a tropical environment. Okay. I'll just have to live without it for now. Got some funky looking wildlife here. That's a mineral. Okay, where's the next one? I don't see one. This is where the exocraft would come in handy. Or the roamer, or whatever it's called. Usually they're close enough together that you can just daisy chain from one to the next. Or, well, that's the way it used to be back in the day. To see how it usually works these days, I'm not the best one for that since I haven't played so much in a very long time. There's something over there I can't see an icon for. Oh, I bet it's my range. Wait, I've got really good range though, don't I? Pretty much any one of the exocraft would be extremely helpful right now. Oh, hey, sodium. I what those blue balls are. Probably another mineral. Either that or somebody just left their beach ball laying out. Now, I, f I have to discover systems. I'm probably going to have to stop at some random system on the way. Or not discover systems, but discover planets. You need me to stop and learn words. I I'd be better off in the space station, wouldn't I? Because there I could at least ask the Viking words, you know? And I could move quickly from space station to space station so I could talk with more of them. So I'm just going to do that. I think that's the best... Should I call my ship in? Down here, maybe? There's just not a whole lot of room up here, you know? Um, I can't walk while I'm doing this, unfortunately. Nice. I called it in in an awkward place, though. Because his nose is dug into the ground. Okay. to actually see the space station. Oh, it's this way. Good, it's gonna go for the station. Yeah, actually, you might get the Atlas passes from the Atlas stations. I'm not sure about that. 
I've only been to one once, and it was quite a battle, so... At least I think it was. A long time ago. One of the last things I did in the game before I stopped playing, but... I don't really remember well. So I think you can only learn words from the Viking who are wandering around freely. I don't think you can, like, walk up to these guys, the vendors, and learn words from them. Seriously, I'm not going to be able to see the options. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. How much money do I have at this point? 13.8 million? The ship here has a decent cockpit. At least for VR. That ship has a terrible cockpit. I mean, the cockpit itself is fine, but that nose, I'd never be able to see out of the thing. All right. I, why am I down here? Trade, technology, learn a technology something. Oh, weapon, nice, that's a good word. And a friendship symbol. Help, okay. Let's see if we can get this done fast on the space station. Mystery, technology, aggression. Probably should learn an aggression symbol. Death, okay. I talk to either of you. Another friendship symbol. Power, okay. It's a good one. Viking help something something interloper. Well, we'll figure it out eventually. Mystery technology. What with mystery? I. It's a lowercase I. Ah, nice. Okay. Inventory. Inventory. Need to go here. Okay. Oh shoot, effigies. What are those sell for? Um, only 123,000 each. At least in this system. Oops. What the hell am I doing? Right, where are my effigies? There we go. Alright, I got multi-tool expansion slots and storage augmentation for Starship. Very nice. So let's head over to the other side real quick. Not the only one jumping around. Apparently they mistook my starship for their own. Or they just wanted to look at it. Okay, upgrade this. Okay. Now to upgrade my ship. My uh, view isn't uh, um, crooked. I think crooked's the right word. My view isn't crooked, is it? Great stuff. Why do I have to click this? Or whatever. Activate this, I guess. Okay, all of these slots are full. 
Or are they? Yeah, they are. Max storage. Okay. She's a fairly good ship. She's not S-class, but fairly good. I wonder if I can walk underneath her. Nope. Well, kind of. Alright, it's time to warp to another system. I just have to try to remember which system this is. Okay. Well, I guess I just remember which one this isn't. This is Map and Nerve, or some such nonsense, and this is Pujarmu. Is this the one I wasn't able to go to? I bet the one I wasn't able to go to is uh, not on the list. Because I think you have to dock at the station to unlock, warp into the station, or teleport into the station. <laughs> 